16.3c equations with radicals, isolate radical. Important, before we can clear a radical, you know, by raising it to whatever power it, it needs, we it must first be isolated or in other words it needs to be alone, it needs to be by itself. So in our first example here, first thing we want to do is we want to start on the side with a radical, add the opposite to our number here. Okay, so we're going to get 2 square root 2x minus 1 equal to 2x minus 4. Divide by the number in front of our radical. Whoops, our x disappeared there. And so we're going to get now the radical of 2x minus 1 equal to x minus 2. We can now solve our radical by raising it to the second power. Do the same thing on the other side. And we now have 2x minus 1 equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4. Subtract 2x, add 1. So now we have 0 equal to x squared minus 6x plus 5. This can easily be factored as x minus 5, x minus 1. So we get that x will equal 5 and 1. Now we need to check our solutions. And so we're going to put our 5 in, so we have the square root of 2 times 5. Whoops, I need to put it in the original, let's fix that. So we get 4 plus 2 square root of 2 times 5 minus 1 equal 2 times 5. Well, we get 10 minus 1 would be 9, so that's our um, inside and then we take the square root of 9 would give us 3 so we have 4 plus 6 equal to 10. Yeah, it checks. I don't necessarily have to write everything out in detail. I'm just doing quick checks to make sure everything works. Let's check our next one. So we have 4 plus 2 times the square root of 2 times 1 minus 1 and does it equal 2 times 1? Well, 2 minus 1 is 1 and the square root of 1 is 1, so we have 4 plus 2. Does that equal 2? Answer is no, it doesn't check, so x is not a solution. And we get x is equal to 5. Okay, let's take a look at our second example. Again, we want to get our radical by itself, so we'll add 2 to both sides first. And so we now we have 2 square root of 5x plus 1 equal to 2x plus 2. Divide by 2. And we have the square root of 5x plus 1 equal to x plus 1. Square both sides. Now we have 5x. plus 1 equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. Move everything over. And we get 0 equals x squared minus 3x. Well, we can factor this easy enough. So we have x times x minus 3. So we're going to get x is equal to 0 and 3. So now we need to check those. So we put those back into the original equation. So we're going to have 2 times, whoops, that's supposed to be a radical, 5 times 0 plus 1 
minus 2 equal to 2 times 0. Well, no matter what happens with this, when we subtract 2, we're not going to get 0, so 0 is not a solution. Now let's check 3. So we have 2 times, actually it is, sorry, I misspoke there. When we take square root of 1, we get 1, and 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times minus 2 is 0, so that does work. So we want to have 0 as a solution. So we'll put that back over here. We'll just kind of ignore this here. So now we have 5 times 3 plus 1 minus 2 equal to 2 times 3. So we've got 5 times 3 would be 15 plus 1 gives us 16. Square root of 16 is 4. So we have 2 times 4, which would be 8. 8 minus 2 is 6, and 2 times 3 is 6, so that one checks. So they both check, and so then we end up with two solutions for this radical equation.